Hello everyone and welcome to the qualifying race number one of two for the Facebook 400, which will be our second Snickers Cup Series race of season three. Now we have 26 drivers in the first race and 26 drivers in the second race. Now, there are going to be seven spots that are available. However, we have to find out whether it's going to be group one or group two in which four drivers will transfer. Whichever group ends up having the four drivers that will transfer, it will then be three drivers in the other race. So I'm going to get out a coin right now. Okay, I'm going to get out a nickel because it's bigger. And if it's going to land on heads, that means that group one will have four drivers that will transfer. If it lands on tails, it means group two will have four drivers that will transfer. And it's going to be heads, which means that this race, in this first race, four drivers are going to transfer their way into the Facebook 400. So, the command to fire the engines has been given, and we will show you the 26 drivers here in group one, which have the good fortune of knowing that at least four of them are going to get in to the second race of the season. <laughs> So here we go, Mia Morris on the pole alongside Jamie Watson, then you got Logan Ryan and Red Bell. Green Flag is out 16 laps of racing, four drivers will transfer their way into the Facebook 400. Look got Logan Ryan trying to make a move already, as Mia Morris and Jamie Watson almost get together, Watson's in the wall, and somehow they held onto it, I don't know how, but they did. Oh, look at Matt Berg coming through there, that rookie in the double zero. That was mighty close. Caution is out. Matt Berg, this is a good tussle back here. Oh, Mia Morris is in the wall again. And there's the avatar Ford Fusion of Bill James. That was a good fourth place run right there. Max Russell's there. Connor Breton's there, but the caution's out. And it looks like it's going to be for Brent McCaleb, Dylan Young, and possibly Sam Young, Jake Cole. Oh, a lot more drivers. Leo Rogers, Garrett Hay, Bob Fergus. That's a lot of race cars involved. Let's see what happened to bring out the first caution of the day. Well, this was a wreck that turned into three wrecks that occurred all the way down the back straightaway. Watch this. Right here, Brent McKillop gets into Garrett Hay, turns him down into Max Russell, sends him on up into the 11 of Bob Fergus. Meanwhile, back there, you got uh, Lisa Shears getting turned around off the nose of Steve Marsh. And you see Luke Walker. He gets turned. Gets hit once again by Brent McCaleb right there. There's Bob Fergus. He's spinning. And you're going to see then coming up into here, Brent McCaleb clips Garrett Hay one more time. Down they come. Sam Young gets into it there. Then Emilio Navarre is going to get into Leo Rogers. Rogers is going to get turned down like a Sam, uh, Steve Marsh get through there. That was a good job by the GoDaddy.com number 24. And Leo Rogers goes for a spin. Now this, the, you've seen pretty much two wrecks. Well, a third one's going to occur right here as Rogers gets the inside retaining wall, comes back up the racetrack, sits himself <clears throat> right in the middle of turn three with that disabled vehicle. And here comes the rest of the field. Bob Fergus is going to have absolutely nowhere to go. Bam! Right into him. And then just when you think it's over, Bob Fergus is sitting there. Jake Cole's going to get into him. Jesse Kaplan does a great job getting through that. But I'll tell you what, that, that was a lot of hard hits. Kaplan gets through. Matt Nathan gets through. Lisa Shear's going to get through. Garrett Hay, not so lucky. He gets into the 11 as well. And then Dylan Young back here makes contact with Brent McCaleb. Joseph Bryant also was involved. That was another driver we didn't know was involved in. Yeah, the number 57 Aquafina car of Joseph Bryant is involved. So probably all these drivers you've seen involved will not make it into the Facebook 400. So lights are out atop the pace car. We'll go back to green flag racing on lap five, uh, 6 of 16. 
Drivers that will not race in this event any longer will be Jake Cole, Leo Rogers, Joseph Bryan, Garrett Hay, and Bob Fergus. Brent McCaleb and Dylan Young have made repairs to their cars. They come here on that inside line as they are one lap down. Let's try and show you the cars that are on the lead lap where they're running. Logan Ryan leads the way. Matt Berg is up to second. Jamie Watson is in third. And Bill James runs in fourth. Right now, those four would transfer if the race ended. Connor Breton is fifth. Max Russell sixth. Alex Filter is seventh. Sorry about that. Alex Filter is seventh. Mia Morris is back in 8th, Red Bell is ninth, and Sean Henley runs in 10th. Then we get Jordan Hester 11th, 12th is Adam Rose, 13th is Steve Marsh, 14th is Luke Walker, 15th is Emilio Navarro, Jesse Kaplan 16th, Matt Nathan 17th, 18th is Lisa Shears, and 19th is Sam Young. Gotta wonder if these two disabled Fords down here, Dylan Young and Brent McKill, if they're going to cause any problems, Green Flag is back out. It was like they're going to move down to the inside line, let everybody on by, so that's a that's a good thing anyway. As Logan Ryan's going to try and qualify his way in to the Facebook 400 in that uh, Ollie's Outlet Chevrolet for Tommy Baldwin Racing. He's got Matt Berg directly behind him. No stranger to the end of the is Berg. And you got Jamie Watson trying to come back up here in third. Caution's out one more time. This time looks like it's going to be for that lap car of Brent McCaleb. He is smoking. That car is done now. And Lisa Shears also was involved. Connor Breton may have gotten some of it. Luke Walker did. And the caution waves once more. As Red Bell now moves into the top four. See why we're under the caution. Now here's a look. Bill James was getting bypassed there on the high side. And, oh, looks like Mia Morris, our pole sitter, just gets into the slower car of Brent McCaleb. But McCaleb wasn't really doing anything wrong. Just flies down into the wall. And up into Matt Nathan he goes. Lisa Shears gets involved. Luke Walker got turned up the racetrack by somebody. And Sam Young also got a piece of the wall, but I'm, I'm curious to know why Lisa Shears has... Oh, Connor Breton and Dylan Young got together as well. And then here comes Lisa Shears, and she must hit Dylan Young, I think. Yep, right there. So about a six-car incident puts it under the caution for the second time. So we'll get ready to go back under green on lap 11 of 16, which gives us about six laps remaining. More drivers have retired from the race, including Luke Walker, Lisa Shears, Matt, Nathan, and Brent Caleb. They joined Jake Cole, Leo Rogers, Joseph Bryant, Garrett Hay, and Bob Fergus in the garage area. Here's the way they run. Logan Ryan leads, Matt Berg second, Jamie Watson third, Red Bell is up into the fourth position. Then we got Max Russell, he's in fifth, sixth is Alex Felter, seventh is Mia Morris, eighth right now Steve Marsh, Jordan Hester ninth, and Emilio Navarrete runs in tenth. Sean Henley is in 11th, Jesse Kaplan 12th, Adam Rosen 13th, 14th is Bill James, then you got Connor Breton 15th, one lap down in 17th is Dylan Young, and Sam Young is in the 16th position. Top four will transfer in, and uh, pretty much the same scenario as in the Mobile One Cup Series qualifying race. If we get an immediate caution, we will have a one lap shootout to decide this race. If not, this race will end under the caution flag if the caution comes out again. Green flag is back out. Logan Ryan's gone to the front, has not looked back. He's led this event for most of the day. He wants to get that number 36 into the Phoenix race. So far, we are clean and green. Let's watch this battle back here for fourth. Red Bell has lost it. Max Russell is going to go to the lead, to that four, or not to the lead, but to the fourth position. And there is no caution. So you're going to see this battle for fourth position go on here with no caution flag coming out. Alex Filter now in line to try and pass Max Russell for that fourth position. Based on his accent, I would say Max Russell is Australian. But anyway, uh, we got Logan Ryan under fire from Matt Berg. And still no caution. We're still clean and green. This is a nice little green flag run we're having here. Very unusual here at Phoenix. As here comes Matt Burke. He looks to the inside. 
Is he going to make contact? He almost does. He's into Logan Ryan as he tries to make the pass for the lead. Jamie Watson waiting, lying in wait, waiting for his opportunity. Here they come out of the turn four. Still no caution flag as Matt Berg takes the lead. Battles on for fourth again. Alex Filter to the inside of Max Russell. This is for position. Position number five. Or four, rather. And Filter has got it. Meanwhile, Jamie Watson going for second on Logan Ryan. Now, Ryan has got to try and keep himself inside the top four. He cannot let Filter and Russell by. Wait, is the caution out? No, no caution. There's the driver who would transfer in the fourth position, Alex Filter. But Steve Marsh and Emilio Navarro, they're trying to close in on him. They've got one and a half laps to do it. If they don't close in, Filter has transferred his way in along with Logan Ryan, Jamie Watson, and our leader, Matt Berg. Matt Berg's brother, Jake Berg, will have to qualify his way into the Facebook 400 in our second qualifying race. But Matt Berg wants to make sure at least one Berg is going to represent the family there in the Facebook 400. White flag was displayed, by the way, for Matt Berg. And Filter's got no company, really. But Matt Berg is going to come down off of turn four for the final time. And Matt Berg is going to hit the stripe. And Matt Berg has won the qualifying race. Transferring in will be Jamie Watson, Logan Ryan, and Alex Filter gets the fourth position. Let's get a look at the official standings. They're not official yet. We're still waiting for them to be official. Now they are. So Berg, Watson, Ryan, and Filter will transfer in. Steve Marsh, Mila Navarre, Max Russell, Sean Henley, and Red Bell. Oh, so close to getting their way in. Adam Rose finishes in 10th. You can see where else he finished here. A lot of drivers retire from the race, including drivers that we saw in the a driver that we saw in the uh, Daytona 500. Joseph Bryant will not be in the second race of the season. So tough break for him. But congrats to the four drivers who transferred. We will. Say a Vita Zane for now, but we will have the second qualifying race coming up very soon. You're watching the NSRA offline racing at its best.